Okay guys, welcome back to Split. And today we're talking about a company we all know, the G, the gangsters, Google. You know them, I'm not gonna say too much. And let's just jump right into it. We are looking at the Nest Mini second generation. And if you're not aware, uh, Google does own Nest, and which is why they changed the name from the Google Home Mini to the Google Nest Mini. They did make a couple of improvements, uh, but I guess I will run that. If you check out the review, you'll find out what has changed, what has not. But right now, we're just going to see what's in this box and know if it's something you want to get or not. On the side, there are you know suggestions on what you can do how to integrate with youtube spotify uh commands to tell google, google how to call home turn off your lights if you're integrated to hue philips hue or any of most other smart bulbs that will actually work with this thing uh netflix if you're connected straight to your smart tv or whatever google assistant two for uh, what else is there they indicated just to let you know it is second generation and i am stylishly looking for a tab that helps me pull it apart because i'm lazy and i don't want to try to rip this okay let's go let's go Ooh, soft nylon thank you google yeah peace mode Rah. and slide so apparently there's there's a department in most boxing units that determine the speed of how you open these boxes it's intentional surprisingly so yeah let me put this inside so we're inside the box now. In the box, the first thing you see, boom, is the actual Nest Mini itself. This is made of soft fiber, and it's supposed to be 100% recyclable material, so they are worried about the planet. This is less recyclable, but it also has, I think, to a certain degree, 50%, I'm not sure, I will check. Um, soft touch, the soft touch actually works when you're reducing or increasing the volumes, or tap to wake. So yeah, so this is an active surface. Uh, the microphone button, when you're worried that you know the government is listening you can just turn that off so it's dead no one can hear you turn it back on it has a power port really this is a barrel power port so which means they've changed it from the usb type port but did they change it i think it was always power barrel port anyway i figured they'd go with a usb c given the current times but that's just strange to see and they've created conveniently a wall hanger in case you have a, a, a hook on the wall you can just stick this on there and that's convenient to put up let's put that aside let's see what else is in the box Ooh, open that oh that's, that's nice the power brick pretty nice g you know looks like a F oh, it mirrors the device in terms of design style Google style but yeah it is a barrel power port like i suspected i don't know why they do that i guess so you could buy more where you do blow it up with a power surge let's put that aside and some reading material how to get started yada yada blah 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 blah, blah. that's it that's really it this is to try to test it there's no need to reinvent the wheel here they know what they were doing and that's everything in that box put that aside let's go back to this guy so what makes this unique um in terms of voice commands it's, it's very quick and responsive however in terms of sound quality this is better than the first generation uh, but it's still not as loud in my opinion as the echo dot gen 3 that has a bit that has better drivers i think about three drivers so it delivers a bit more sound also what else is wrong no the price is actually right this is uh in the same range as the echo dot it's about 50 bucks but if you bought this during the holidays like i did you probably got this for about 25 dollars and i'm sure there are deals all the time you can probably find it for that price uh other than that it's everything you love about google it is what it is it's light it's comfortable you can pretty much interact with everything you own oh yeah for those of you that don't like washing your hands wash your hands guys and google can help you do that if you say google help me wash my hands it'll set a song that times for slightly above 20 seconds or more to help you keep in touch with how long you should be washing your hand for so yeah so that's a helpful tip you should consider google helps you wash your hands so till next time guys stay safe please practice social distancing don't forget to subscribe because we will be unboxing everything that's in the store that we didn't get to unbox because now we have more time in the house um thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys see you in the next video take care